Hey good fellas, here we are again. It's November 2023. All pen releases are now out and therefore it's the perfect moment to finally do a top pen releases of this year. I first wanted to do like a top seven, then it became a top 10, but there were so many beautiful releases this year that I had to do a top 13 at the end of the day. I would say, let's go through them. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and then leave a like if you like this content. I'm not gonna go chronologically. I'm just gonna go through different releases and we're gonna start with the Caron d'Ache Terre d'Ombre. That's a release that I personally really, really loved. This beautiful perlage on the green lacquering, this incredible swirl guillage that they have done on the Le Mans. They also did the Le Mans Slim that was in full green, such a beautiful color, a one-shot or let's say a special edition that will be out of collection. It's a model that it's hard to beat and therefore definitely one of the top notch releases of this year in my list. And let's keep the olive fil rouge and I'm going to mention the release of Otto Hoot, the Design 06 olive green. Now it's been nice also from Otto Hoot to see such a beautiful and stylish color. Also in this case, a one shot. I hope that from Otto Hoot we would have seen something even, you know, maybe a new design or so, but obviously they cannot release a new design every year. However, that's been a very nice and very successful edition and therefore definitely one of the pieces that in a price range between 180 Swiss francs and 300 Swiss francs was absolutely amazing. Then one of the latest releases of Sailor, and I'm talking about the Sailor Tiger Under the Moonlight. This is a series of three pieces until now. We have the Deer Under the Moonlight, we have the wolf under the moonlight and this year we have the tiger under the moonlight. Beautiful limited edition, super limited. Actually each retailer only gets one. It's sold out before even coming out. Incredible maquillé art runs for about 6,000 Swiss francs and I do hope to see more very nice maquillé editions being released over the year. However, it's not that easy to find maquillé artists with specific skills. Then Pelican released a new Raiden M1000, the Red Infinity. We have had mixed feelings on this edition. Personally, whatever Raiden they release for me, it's an absolutely must have because it's part of a collection. So after the green ray, the white ray, the red infinity is a piece that, that you just got to have in your collection. I also loved how they played with a stronger color. They went into something more reddish. And again, it's German engineering that is being mixed to Japanese handmade craftsmanship. I love these two world that come together. And therefore for me, the Pelican Raiden is always an excellent release. And obviously I'm going to mention the Graf von Faber-Castell pen of the year 2023, the Ancient Egypt. This just came out, beautiful, beautiful edition, maybe one of the most beautiful releases in the pen of the year series that has been ever made. A lot of collectors have been very excited to see the beauty and the incredible details that are on this amazing limited edition. Also priced in a price range at around 5,800 Swiss francs. Great piece available as a rollerball and as a fountain pen limited to 375 fountain pens and 125 rollerballs. It's also super limited. So this is an addition that you cannot miss and make sure not to miss it. And just realizing that the end of the year brought some very nice additions because now I'm going to mention the Monte Grappa Theory of Evolution. That's been another marvelous release that Monte Grappa has made. Whether you believe in the theory of evolution or not, it's extremely well manufactured. There's a lot of hidden details, beautiful, beautiful sterling silver work on the body and cap available as a rollerball and as a fountain pen priced at around 8,000 Swiss francs and perfect to put next to the trilogy of Dante Alighieri, next to the Chaos and next to the Dragon. I actually have a customer who has all of these pieces now in his collection and it looks truly beautiful. Then another release of the last moment is the Visconti Looking East. Another marvelous piece. What I really love is this purplish barrel that then has this rose gold cage over it inspired to the Japanese and Asian architecture. Such a marvelous addition no clip like you would find often on a Japanese writing instrument available as a rollerball and as a fountain pen. Also in a great price range because we're talking about around 3,000 Swiss francs. Such a beautiful piece. You're gonna find actually the list of all pens down in the description so you can go down and check it out. The next, the Mont Blanc 149 Orient Express. The fact that Mont Blanc did a blue 149 even with a little engraving on the cap shows how committed they are on the collaboration to 
together with the Orient Express. Very, very successful edition, already sold out, you can't purchase it anymore. So that's another incredible hit done by Mont Blanc and it's going to be very successful also after market. So that's definitely one incredible investment piece that for the one that purchased it, they have something very valuable now there in their collection and I hope they're gonna enjoy it and they're gonna use it with great pleasure. Then I have to mention another Pelican, the Pelican M800 Green Demonstrator. That's been another marvelous release that Pelican has made. This is an inspiration from a model done in 1992. And first of all, we love demonstrators, but with this green demonstrator, it even has that little plus. It's such a beautiful color, extremely well made, really, really a marvelous piece. Then I have to mention one of the releases that we did. We actually presented it last year, but it was released this year. And I'm talking about the Montegrappa 1930 Kirsch. We have put a lot of effort into the creation of that specific edition, taking the wood here from Zug that is famous for his beautiful cherries and cherry wood. We've sent it down to Bassano del Grappa to create the now famous limited edition of 50 pieces Monte Grappa 1930 Kirsch. And what I love about this edition is the fact that it's a bit of a lighter wood that will become darker over time with sterling silver metal trims and therefore, you know, again, a running instrument that will have a story once you use it and will age very, very nicely and be even nicer in a few years than what it is right now. Also, this edition comes as a fountain pen for 1,390 Swiss francs and as a roller bowl for 1,090 Swiss francs. You can find it on our website. Link is in the description. Then another marvelous release is the Carondage Keyfaring Ecridor. The Ecridor is an iconic model, but the fact that Carondage meets Keyfaring makes this such an amazing thing. You have all the beautiful drawings engraved on the whole barrel of the pen, but you only discover it and understand it once you hold the pen near to you and you actually start seeing all the beautiful images of Keyfaring. So amazing release, priced at 220 Swiss francs. Another piece that shows that Carandash is on a great journey. Then I have another release of Mont Blanc and it's the 80 Days Around the World Solitaire. Incredible wood with this nice plate on the side of the cap. Such an amazing release. Actually this piece also comes as a fountain pen, it comes as a rollerball and also as a ballpoint. To be honest, I cannot even describe the beauty of this writing instrument. It's just astonishing when you look at it and when you hold it, you have the sensation of the wood, but then also the sophistication with this metal plate on the cap. So Mont Blanc always confirms itself as a leader of the industry and always creating things that go beyond the imagination of the user. Even me, as someone professional in this industry since 13 years, when I see such a release, I'm like, there is no no limit to imagination and to beauty. Then, as a last piece, I'm going to mention the Sailor Seke. The Sailor Seke is also part of a series that Sailor has done over the last three years, but the Seke has been such a beautiful release with this amazing ebonite, with this kind of watercolor barrel and cap. You have a Naginata Togi nib that has a beautiful right that gives you a beautiful and broad kind of brush writing sensation. For anyone that likes this kind of writing, it's absolutely extraordinary. So 2023 has been an amazing year for the pen industry, amazing releases. It has also been our best year so far as a business, as Style of Zug, as the pen game changer, and we have a lot of developments in the next years. I'm wondering now to hear your favorite releases of this year. Let me know down in the comment section. Let me know if maybe I missed a release that you find to be absolutely a must. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more content that is coming up and don't forget that together we are changing the game.